Hey people, it's Nine Hours Talking. Now, the source I'm using is Britannica.com. This is another black history video. Isaac Burns Murphy, American jockey. Isaac Burns Murphy, born 1861, Fayette County, America, died February 12, 1896, Lexington, Kentucky. American jockey who was the first to be elected to the National Museum of Racing and Hall of Fame in Saratoga, Saratoga Springs, New York. Although Murphy's career winning percentage is disputed, neither of the figures cited racing records showing 34.5%, while Murphy claimed 44% has been equaled in American horse racing. Murphy was born to free black parents. And so the, this is another thing I want to talk about. People talk about how black people can't do this. Just a, a few years after the end of slavery, he was doing things that have never been equaled. And the only reason black people have not gone to the point where they've taken over America and lead the world is because they have been systematically kept down. Let's keep going. Murphy was born to free black parents. He grew up in Lexington, Kentucky, where his mother had moved the family after his father, a Union soldier in the Civil War, had died in a Confederate prisoner of war camp. Murphy began racing in 1875 as one of the first jockeys to pace his mount for a charge down the home stretch, a technique soon described as the grandstand finish. He rode upright and urged his mounts on with words and a spur rather than the whip. His win of the Travers Stakes at Saratoga Springs in 1879 catapulted him to national fame. Murphy rode in the Kentucky Derby 11 times and was the first three-time winner of the race, 1884, 1890, 1891. He also was the first jockey to win successive Derby crowns. In 1884, he won the first American Derby in Chicago, the, first, the most prestigious race of the era. He won it again in 1885, 1886, and 1888. With his success, Murphy became one of the highest-paid athletes in the United States. Also notable was his victory in a match race against Edward Snapper Garrison in June 1890. The race was the most talked about of its time, not least because it pitted the era's best black jockey in America, Murphy, against the best white one, Garrison. Two months later, however, Murphy became mired in controversy. After a poor showing at a race in Monmouth, New Jersey, Murphy seemed unsteady on his feet, leading to speculation that he had been drinking. He denied the charge and claimed that he had been drugged. However, rumors of a drinking problem persisted. Murphy began competing less, and his final race was in 1895. He died of pneumonia the following year. Murphy's career waned at a time when participation by African Americans in American horse racing was declining as a result of racial discrimination. His accomplishments were often framed in racial terms. Some sports writers referred him to him as the colored archer, in reference to Mur Murphy's contemporary Frederick Archer, <coughs> an English champion jockey, while others suggested that Archer should instead be referred to as the white Murphy. After World War I, Murphy's career and those of other black jockeys such as Willie Sims and James Wakefield were largely overlooked until the mid-20th century. And I want to point out some things. Earlier, there was a reference where they said he was born to free black parents. In another source I was looking at, I think it was Kentucky Park or something, where they said he was the son of a former slave. And you always notice how language makes things different. Saying that he was born to free black parents sounds very different to he was the son of a former slave. And this is another thing. You see, the only reason they, start, they didn't keep competing was because of racial discrimination. Black excellence and greatness is truly something to be admired. And the only reason black people did, did not it happened to just become the standard in horse racing is because of wealth barriers and also the discrimination happened in the past. And as I said earlier in regards to his record, he has never been equal since. And this was what? 130 years ago he was that great and also look how they always try to the white inferiority complex tries to make him diminish him in spite of the achievements they call him the colored archer he can't be his own murphy he has to be a black version of something else but just like robocop said at the end of the film when people ask him what's his name he says murphy so anyway, I really hope you've enjoyed this. Please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Oh, and uh, because uh, YouTube won't allow me to post links in the description, the source I'm using is Britannica.com, but you can just do a quick web search or just type in Isaac Burns Murphy and it will bring up some, uh, a host of sources relating to this uh, historical figure. So you can just research them at your own leisure. Please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.